me out of the oven because I'm done. This is the fourth time I'm filming this video because my camera likes to cut off when I'm saying things. That is very rude, Canon camera. I would appreciate it if you did not. Technical difficulties aside, we're gonna do my September wrap-up finally today. And this consists of seven books that I read in the month of September. Yeah, yeah, let's just get into this because... Camera? If you sass me one more time, you are going out the window. So the first book that I read, I was trying to finish up the Mortal Instruments series for the first time, and therefore I read The City of Fallen Angels. This is my favorite one. It's just, it's the shortest one, and I, I don't know why I love it so much, but I like it more than City of Glass, and it's just perfect, and I want to own all the characters. I want them to exist in a tangible sense. Afterward, I of course read City of Lost Souls, which was so good, but now we have to wait till May. I love this series so much. I gave these both five stars, and honestly, honestly, I'm just obsessed. So after I finished this, it kind of put me in a little bit of a reading slump because I was like, there's no more Jace to be experienced until May of 2014. What does one do when there's no Jace to experience until 2014? So for a good week, I was just like bawling every time I looked at a book like, but you're not Jace. So finally, I just decided, you know what, I have a book I need to review, I'm just gonna pick that one up. And within a week, I finished The Shadow by A.G. Porter, which is a kind of paranormal type of book. Um, I already have an unboxing for this that I explained what it's about, so I'll link that in the description. And then I just, I liked it, I gave it two stars, and just... It was okay. There is a review that's gonna come, so definitely if you want to know how I liked this, let, let's just keep an eye out. After that, I decided to pick up some library books that I obviously don't have with me right now because they're from the library. And those two books were The Darkest Minds by Alexandria Bracken and Fallen by Lauren Kate. I read The Darkest Minds first and I ended up giving that four stars. I thought it was good, but not necessarily worth all of the dramatic hype it gets. I did, however, record a reaction to my ending. Wait. My reaction to the ending. So if you want to see me ball like a little child upset about life, that I'll link that video in the description. <laughs> then I read Fallen by Lauren Kate, as I said, and this one, I guess, was just a little bit childish for me. I probably would have enjoyed it more if I read it around the time that I read Twilight, just because I felt the conflict was kind of the same thing as Twilight. Like, I love you, but we have that. It's just really not very... I may or may not read the rest of the series, so keep an eye out, I guess. Then I read The Crucible by Arthur Miller. This book, my whole class was like, we have to read a book, and I'm just, this book is so good. These are all markings. We don't have to annotate this. I was just like free will marking my favorite parts, and people probably thought it was weird, but I liked it, even though I only got a 58 on the test. It was a hard test, okay? Like everyone failed that thing. I feel like my hair is falling out, is that a true statement? I don't know, let's pretend like it's not and keep filming. Lastly for this month, I finished Clockwork. I almost said princess, but that's not what I read. I read the first one, Clockwork Angel. To be honest, this probably doesn't belong on this list because I technically finished this 12.45 a.m. on October 1st, so let's just say the majority of this I read in September, and I liked it. I gave it four stars, and I was so expecting I would love this, but honestly, the characters kind of annoyed me. It was a little bit slow, and just I didn't fancy some things that other people might have enjoyed, but I definitely, definitely want to read the rest of this series because ah, Cassandra Clare, your writing is flawless. Yeah, my hair is most definitely coming out. Let's just touchy uppy, touchy yuppie. I'm gonna be doing my TBR video in a different video, so that will definitely be up soon, and uh, we'll talk to you later, so thank you for watching. La 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 la. Why am I saying that? <laughs> Bye.